hey guys hello here back with another video so in this video we will fix how to enable disable ipad or iphone this trick will work for ipad or all iphones but i am using the ipad for demonstrate it let's get started so first of all guys you have to connect your ipad to your itunes just press home and power button at the same time once you see the apple logo just release the power button but don't release the home button and it will show you the this icon connect to itunes just remove the data cable and connect it again to your device and the itunes will detect your device automatically then you can download the software through your itunes directly but i don't want to wake up my pc for one or two hours for just downloading this software so i have another option for downloading this file so now you have to just just open your browser and type ipsw download the first result will be the ipsw.me open this website in this website you can download all softwares for all apple iphones for and apple ipads directly through this website and i'm using the ipad mini just click on that make sure always download the green file like this and just hit on download also you can download through your smartphone guys i downloaded my file through my smartphone because it's very easy and very very convenient just type the same method go through this website select your device choose the model and just hit ok and download it's very easy guys once you have download this file you have to transfer it to your desktop so that you can find it very easily just relaunch the itunes and and now you have to hold the shift button before clicking and just select your file okay now select the file it will take some time now select the file and hit okay okay it will take some time just sit back relax okay guys we have error code 3004 don't worry we will fix this just restart your device and restart your ipad iphone whatever device you're using and it's just because of we didn't install the software drivers properly so when you restart your device all drivers will be installed properly and repeat the whole method guys it will take some time just be patient and just sit back relax it will notify you after some time it will restart your device automatically just let it happen okay now it's asking to restart guys we have did whole process and we have successfully enable our ipad just you have to do is just configure device with your old apple id whatever apple id you were using just log in into it you can directly log in into your itunes or if you want to log in into your ipad or your device just just log in it i will choose my ipad to log in it just connect it to this wi-fi guys i need your support just to subscribe my channel guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any question any comment just leave a comment i will reply as soon as possible and please guys subscribe my channel and like this video thanks for watching bye for now see you next time